This is News 4 Tucson, live at 4. Welcome back for your health. Today is Blood Donor Day. Work health programs benefiting employees and a new sleep study from the U of A. News 4 Tucson, Sean Moody has the latest findings. A new study from the University of Arizona reveals adults with sleep apnea are more likely to have a rocky work history. Researchers analyzed data from over 250 middle-aged men and women. They found people with undiagnosed sleep apnea were more than twice as likely to have been laid off or fired from multiple jobs. Experts say the condition may impair mental and physical functioning, which can impact job performance. Also, programs that focus on healthy habits for at-risk employees can improve their health and productivity at work. Researchers in Germany studied over 300 workers considered to be at high risk for heart disease or type 2 diabetes. Some of them were enrolled in a six-month program where they got exercise, diet, and lifestyle tips, both in person and through a smartphone app. After the six months, most had increased their exercise and had healthier metabolic scores than those who did not participate. They also had greater improvement in their work ability. And today is World Blood Donor Day, and the American Red Cross is urging people to do their part to save lives. Statistics show only 3% of Americans give blood despite a critical need for all blood types. That's why there will be 275 blood drives this summer to help collect over 8,000 units for patients in need. All you need is a blood donor card or two forms of identification. To find out where you can donate blood, go to kvoa.com slash for your health and click on this story. Sean Mooney, News 4, Tucson. Well, as it continues to heat up here in Arizona, you want to make sure you're applying your sunscreen correctly. There are some places that often get neglected. When you apply the sunscreen to your face, make sure you're also putting it on your ears. Experts say there, this is a common area where precancerous abrasions as well as skin cancer are found during routine screenings. The scalp is often overlooked, but experts say wearing a wide brimmed hat is acceptable if you are unable to apply sunscreen. And finally, don't forget about your hands and forearms, especially during everyday activities like driving. Well, if you still need the perfect Father's Day gift for your dad, you may want to consider plastic surgery. According to a new report from the American Society of Plastic Surgeons, more than a million men had some form of cosmetic procedure last year. That is nearly 30% increase from 2000. The most popular surgical procedures were rhinoplasty, eyelid surgery, and liposuction. Nearly half a million Botox procedures were also performed on men last year, and more than 100,000 had filler injections. Well, it was the worst news imaginable for a new mother and father to be in Phoenix. During pregnancy, doctors found what could have been a deadly condition, but new technology gave them a second chance. Michael Dunda reports. After viewing her and she didn't move for three hours, she just sat there. The routine checkup at 36 weeks, the first sign of trouble. For Lauren Ragusa and Jose Torres, ultrasound images leading doctors to believe their daughter's neck was fused to her back, a condition called iniacephaly. Uh, fetuses with iniacephaly do not survive. The questions are whether to continue the pregnancy or not. Which led to the parents-to-be being told their daughter would likely not survive more than a couple of hours past birth. It almost felt like you wanted to run away from everything. So instead of planning to take their child home, they began planning her funeral. What are we going to do with her when she does come out? Are we going to bury her? Are we going to cremate her? We both just lost, you know, shut down, you know. Um, we felt hopeless. But a small spark of hope would come in a phone call. Phoenix Children's Hospital wanted to take a second look using a new method with a special MRI. The photo showing the neck still apparently pushed back, but importantly, all the vertebrae were there. I, I knew at that point that I had a good chance not to give them bad news. The images show the neck wasn't fused. Instead, she was simply stuck. And beyond taking special care with the delivery, the baby would be fine. Me and Lauren just looked at each other and we're just like, you know, thank God. Just days later, on February 24th, Savannah was born. It was the, the best day of my life. I walked in, she heard my voice and she opened her eyes. I was like, oh yeah, she's a mommy's girl. Like, that's my, that's my baby, you know. Her neck stretched, but otherwise okay. The family now able to be together with their firstborn daughter smiling and healthy. I think she's a miracle, you know, and she, to me, she's always going to be my, like, little miracle angel baby.